What's going on beach bums? I'm out here doing a little bit of sheep's head fishing, which I don't really do that very often, so I'm kind of a noob to it, and so I'm kind of learning, kind of figuring it out, but this time of year I know is great for sheep's head. I'm at the Orange Beach Pass. This is uh, the Perdido Pass Bridge that I'm fishing under today. And let me show you my rig here. I'll show you how I'm rigged up for them today. I'm just using a simple Carolina rig. I've got a size six circle hook, which I know most people probably prefer the J hooks. And for this type of fishing, probably would work better, but that's all I had. But you definitely want to use small tackle. So smaller hooks, smaller line, as small as possible. I uh, learned that from my buddy Nick Estes uh, when we were sheephead fishing last year. He taught me that. Make sure you downsize, which is always a good rule for most fishing. I'm using 17 pound fluorocarbon leader just to help with some abrasion and of course it's supposedly quote unquote invisible, but you know, whatever. Uh, I've got a 60 pound swivel going to my main line. Uh, a bead just to protect my knot, and then a half ounce sinker. The current was ripping pretty good this morning. It's died down a little bit now, so half ounce is definitely perfect for that. But uh, let's see how the day's been going. This tide is moving. It is going out for show this morning. We have been getting a ton of rain. I mean, just gobs of it, especially north of us. So a lot of fresh water coming into our inshore fishing systems. And, uh, you know, I don't know how much that affects sheep's head fishing. You know, I don't really do it a lot, but we've definitely had a lot of rainy days, a lot of windy days, cloudy days. I don't think we've seen the sun in, uh, I can't even remember. <laughs> it's been a while. So uh, this winter hasn't been too pleasant, but uh, still out here trying to make something happen. There we go. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Finally got one. Took me a minute. He looks undersized. But hey, we got a sheep. We'll measure him, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be 12 to the fork. Be careful with these guys, they will spawn you. Let's see. First sheep of the day, all right. Yep. Beautiful little sheep's head. They've been catching, I've been hearing reports that they've been catching a lot of undersized ones, so kind of anticipated that. But uh, glad to see the first one, little guy. Maybe there's some bigger ones down there. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. I've been working hard at it this morning, trying to get a fish. Finally got my first one there. This uh, current is moving and it is not easy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, one. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, come here. That's a good fish. Ah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Probably gonna need to get my net. Ah, oh, that's a good fish. Ah, oh, come here. Oh yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Ooh, 
this thing's fight. I don't know if I can get him. Should have had my net handy. Oh, here we go. This is dangerous. Oh, flipped up. All right, on the deck. <laughs> Sweet. I've been working hard this morning trying to find a keeper sheep's head. And finally, I've got one. I haven't measured him yet, but uh, definitely put up a good fight. I had a lot of fun catching this fish. I'm going to try to get another bait out there just using those fiddler crabs. And uh, I've been getting some bites, but you know, I'm not, my senses aren't in tune with catching sheep's head because I just don't do it a lot. But I think I got the feel for it now. So if they're still down there, if they're still biting, hopefully we get a couple more. He is right at 16 and three quarters to the fork. So right on, keep her sheep. Well, I haven't had a bite in a while. They were biting pretty good there for a second. I was just missing them. And then I caught that one. So I thought it was gonna start cranking up from there, but uh, it's it's been a good, I don't know, 30 minutes without a bite now. <laughs> Got a little grunt. First uh, bite, first fish I've seen in probably over an hour. Right. Hard on them. Yeah, they do. Uh, ah, try to get them for you. Do you want them? Uh, well, I got one already, so I mean, if you don't want them, I'll, I'll take them. Bro, I finally finally got one. <laughs> he finally got one. There you go. It's been a slow bite, man. I mean, just. Got to that current. Right here, okay. Nice, man. Cool. It's been a slow bite today. Alright, this is my last go around here. It's a little too slow for me. A little too slow. I'm not getting any bites. Missed a big one. I wasn't rolling video, but uh, he got away from me. <clears throat> it was either a, I don't think it was a sheep's head. I think it was either a black drum or a redfish. Felt a little too heavy to be a sheep head. Alright. It was just a little too slow for me, so I'm packing it in. Wanted to get a couple of more, but uh, you know, you take what you can. I was getting some bites there for a little while and definitely was missing some fish because I'm not in tune with my sheep's head spidey senses. But once I picked up on it, uh, I didn't get, I got a couple more bites, small fish and Hooked into something big, think it might have been a black drum, redfish, not 100% sure what that was. But again, I'm not big on sheep, sheep set fishing. I don't do it a lot and honestly don't really know what I'm doing. I can refer you to some channels if you are interested in learning a little bit more, seeing more how to do it. Uh, there's some guys in Pensacola that do real well. Yakking with Jack, Kavar Tech Media, Kyle for a while. I'll post links to their channels below. They do a lot of sheep set fishing from kayaks. Do a really good job. They know what they're doing. Hook a lot. But guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you had fun watching the video. And as always, you stay 